Hey guys, I'm Professional Bohemian. I'm an illustrator, oil painter, and Twitch streamer. You're about to watch a section of one of my streams where I create this image right here. Um, do stick around, watch um, subsequent videos, or navigate through the channel and see if there's anything else you like. Drop a subscribe, like, comment, um, check out my work on Instagram, and join me live on twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian with me and my community and have some fun. Enjoy the video, guys. Hagrid! Oh, you're a wizard, Harry. Ah, Norfolk, I'm good now. <laughs> Sweet. And is that like a carrot cruncher accent? I've never heard that far, is it? You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> Thank you, Candy. Awesome, dude. It's okay, I can take it. You can take it. You're the boss right now. Hagrid is one of my faves. Such inspiration for me returning. I was going to do gaming. Why the hell not, man? Game. Game away. That way we can we can collaborate on channel on the on games if we do actually go ahead and do it. Thing is, we don't want to do it in here because believe it or not, this studio is super uncomfortable. <laughs> it's kind of warm. So we want to we want a game in the living room. Well, it means we need to get a computer. So either we use this computer and I buy a less powerful one for in here, or we get a better one for out there. We haven't decided yet, but we'll figure it out. You're a lizard, Harry! <laughs> I need to find games I like, but ones that are popular. Or not. You know my feeling on this? I what? believe it or not, for a middle-aged man, I watch a hell of a lot. <laughs> like way more than I should let's play videos and like the, the the game streamers that I love the most to name a few like Northern Lion um, Mr. Samuel streamer um, there are a bunch but they're not playing the most popular games like Northern Lions playing Binding of Isaac from years and years ago, or Slay the Spire. Mr. Samuel Split Streamer plays exclusively Rimworld. Hey, Stardew Valley, I love Stardew Valley. Snow Bros dude was awesome, Banana Bread. Stardew is bae. Binding of Isaac is so good when he doesn't include you in his favorite gamers. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, and Min. No, no, I was I was counting up. I hadn't gotten to you yet. I hadn't gotten to you yet, Min. <laughs> so yeah, those are the games that I like to watch, you know what I mean? And I'm not watching them because the games, I mean, I like the games. I'm not watching them because the games are brilliant. I'm watching them because, you know, it's fun to listen to the, the people do their thing. Guys, go follow Min, will ya? <laughs> go follow Min. If you're not already following Min, can someone give me, Min, could you give yourself a shout out, please? <laughs> Am I the worst human being alive? Con, give Min a shout out, please. So when I point here, there's something to point at. I've been playing a game called Farm Together. It's so cute, and if your friends have the game, you can invite them to come and harvest with you. Thank you, Candy. There he is, Min. Go give him a follow. Best human ever. <laughs> I still don't know what Paladins is, Min. Yeah, still, Minnie's my buddy. Yeah, dude, Minnie's the best. It's crazy addictive. Sounds like my kind of game. It's 
like Overwatch, it's a hero shooter. I think my favorite game of all time is a game called RimWorld. Does anybody else know in the chat know RimWorld? Dude, I love RimWorld. Ladybo and I have started RimWorld and not finished it like mm. four or five times. The Subnautica Below Zero, please. God, I want to play it so cool. Um, uh, Rimwall is good, I do, I love Rimwall. I'll probably do some scary games for October, never played horror games before, dude, the best. Have you ever seen, the, have you seen the new one about running a cult? I have not, oh wait, the new, the new expansion for Rimwall. <laughs> I've played Rimworld in all its flavors, eh? I haven't played for a while to be fair, in like a, a year. No, less than that, maybe a couple of, maybe about six months. But I know the, 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 that RimWorld recently released um, a new patch, and I think it has something to do with religions. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, honey, I joined a cult. It's a, it's a game. Got you, got you. It's not an actual RimWorld, but it's of a similar, similar ilk. Dude, I will check it out. It'd be awesome to do some gaming again. I do miss it, eh? I do miss miss the old game streams. Break all the promises, but leave me alone. Don't break my heart. You should fucking stay with me. And of course, flipping um warlight. Dude, I've had a hang I've had a itch to play Warlight for like weeks now. It's out of time, you know what I mean? But I would love... We were even talking about Risk on the sh on the radio show today. Corey Sheel, Shia, thank you, Corey, for that follow. I appreciate it a great deal. You rock, my dude. I need a puppy cam. Yeah, is this cam actually doing anything at this position? The dogs leave us, leave me in here though. That's the worst thing about having a little studio of my own, is that the dogs don't come in here. Sucks. I play too many games. How's Buddy? Buddy's really good. He was in here a, a little while ago, growling at the puppy. Hoko Life is another good game. It's kind of like Animal Crossing for PC. I'm a huge story game fan. He's been here on my lap for a while. Yeah. He is a good boy, man. Buddy is just like all sweetness and love, except for when the when the puppy is around. <laughs> he's just decided that he's gonna hate the puppy, no matter what the puppy does. <laughs> Like the puppy just like wanders over. I'm gonna give you a kiss because you are my favorite. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I don't get it, man. <laughs> um, I'm going home to my pets tomorrow. Nice. No, no, nice. I love video games, but I wouldn't mix them with art in the channel. But there must be a way to do something. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of just another channel, man. Just for me and Lady Bo to play video games. No subscribers, none of that, just good fun, you know? Mm. Yeah, why the hell not? But that was the problem, man, that was the problem. I'm, I'm almost convinced. Because both streams at the time, for for like a short window of a couple of weeks, were really successful. The wall light streams were really successful, and the art streams were really successful. But then the weeks turned into months, and you could see a steady progression down. Like, 
I don't know. I don't know, Min. Did you do you remember that? Do you kind of perceive that as happening, or is that in my mind? I don't know. I'm gonna show you how we lose control, baby. <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, yeah. Marty Mark. Watch the way I start up. I've been going hard, but I can go way harder. Every beat I'm on, yeah, you know that I. You like the pick of Muffin? Yeah, dude. Muffin is cute, man. It's a cute little rat. <laughs> I like to keep him alive. Give him a little squeeze. And his little body, look, he exploded. <laughs> hey, lucky you, you made it to the midpoint in the video. Good for you. Um, at this point, I'm going to remind you, you should probably subscribe to the channel if you're not already doing so, or jump into twitch.tv forward slash professional bohemian and join me on my next stream. On with the show. It's looking a bit too rough. I need to tighten in the details a little bit. Oh, Nana, Nana, hit the... Um, oh, God, uh, Mala was here. Four years, seven months. Were you four years, eight months or four years, six months? I can't remember, Nana. My friend accidentally killed a guinea pig when she was a child. She loved it so much. She gave it a good long hook. Oh, oh my, my God. God. <laughs> <laughs> Nana. Woo. Nana, my, oh, Nana. And gone? For, uh, four years, four months. Nana. Go have that Nana love. Nana named my dog. Do you know that, guys? Those of you who are new to the channel, Nana named my dog. Summer. Summer. Yeah. That's right. Oh, she's a good girl. I think Summer kind of likes Isabel more, um, likes Lady Ball a lot more than she likes me. No. Yeah, yeah. That's not true. She looks lovingly into your eyes and sits and cuddles you. She doesn't do that with me. I've been around about four-ish years. Obviously not this account. Yeah, I know, I know. I know, Sasha. And guys, by the way, thank you for dropping by. <laughs> I'm Professional Bohemian. I'm an illustrator, an oil painter. If you're gonna keep up with this and future projects, do click that follow button. I do appreciate it. Just like Corey, just like Corpse Love Wife, just like Jay Santos. And a big thank you to Juan Connor for the um, subscription eight months in a row, keeping the lights on around here, keeping me in pain. I appreciate it, my dude. Um, what's up, Dave? How are you doing, man? Actively active in chat, give me them points. <laughs> it's cheating. Um, I can't wait to see my pets and give them cuddles and kisses. I'm looking forward to seeing my boyfriend as well, but he isn't as cute as the pets. <laughs> what do you mean you totally understand? <laughs> You know what look good here? A big, big bushy mustache. <laughs> Still would look awesome. Be heading to the emergency vet with Luna. We think she may have dislocated her front shoulder, ouch, or done a ligament or oh, tendon. Oh, dude, that sucks, man. Poor Luna, yeah. 
Ah, you poor little dog or Dude, and the emergency vests costs an arm and a freaking leg, dude. Eso, tú dale ánimo. I mean, best money you'll ever spend. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dog, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, I'm going straight to hell. But whatever. Poor doggo, you know? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember when summer, I was streaming once. Nana, you were there. I was streaming once. And I don't know who it was, but someone said... Because I just, she just had her, um, uh, had her whatever. She'd just been spayed. She'd just um, been neutered. And um, I, I was streaming. I was doing an audience participation stream where people would say stuff and I'd draw it. And someone said, the dog behind you is, is, um, uh, is eating a stitches. I'm like, that's a funny fucking thing to ask me to draw. And then I looked behind me and some are just eating away all the stitches on her stomach. <laughs> I'm like, boom, a ticket to the vet, dude, cost an arm and a leg. Talking about you, Summer. We got pet insurance for the cat. I don't think it covers the ratties. I, I spent 2K on my dog's teeth this year. Jesus Christ. What did you get him? Gold implants. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, his dog looks like a rapper. <laughs> Imagine that, I really want to get that done. <laughs> Can I get like a dad <laughs> gold teeth for the dogs? That would be wicked, man. I would love it. And then take a photo of them with a fisheye lens like it's an album cover. <laughs> Dude, epic. So, yeah, it costs a fortune because they have to put them under, um, uh, they have to put them under a general anesthetic, right? So they sleep. And just to get them, uh, um, uh, just to get them, well, I mean, not put down, but just to get them to, to under the general anesthetic costs an absolute arm and a leg. I know because I have to do it for Buddy soon. And probably summer. It's going to cost a fortune. What? To get the teeth clean. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You wouldn't have to do that if you... I am not going to brush the dog's teeth. teeth? Sorry, baby, I'm just practicing for when the vet tells me. <laughs> he's a cool little dog and worth it, dude, totally. You can't spend, I mean, joking aside, I mean, it's always money well spent. If, you, if your doggo's not well or your doggo needs something done, dude. I would spend two two k on on my dog's teeth. I would spend money on my dog's teeth before my own. Especially if we're talking a gold grill with little diamonds in it. What? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I would love it. Yeah, my pets are living better than I am, dude. Dude, my dog's teeth are fucked up, but they've got better teeth than I have. <laughs> um, it's about 400 here if you brush them with your finger or can put it in their water. Ah, okay, okay. Um, 8.45 p.m. An 80 pound consultation fee, dude. Well, that's not, I mean, dude, it gets it gets worse because even hike up the price of the meds and stuff when there's something wrong with them. Man, I saw a picture of you with the boss, Richard, and his guitars. Does he play? Yeah, yeah, he plays a lot, man. He plays guitar, piano. He was learning drums for a little while. No. 
think that's why Richard likes me so much. Because we, <laughs> we have weirdly similar kind of s skills. So I was a musician before, like, my first job in Spain was as a musician and, and funny man, basically. I used to play the trumpet, so I was so cool. <laughs> yeah, not the, it's not the kind of... It's not the kind of instrument. Like, let me... Let's... 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 Some real talk now, guys. No one... No one picks up a guitar and says, I... I'm gonna learn how to master this instrument because I just love the idea of being a musician with this guitar. What they do think is, I'm going to get laid with this thing, I'm going to take this thing everywhere, and, and girls are going to be all over me. If you play the guitar out there, and you didn't think that, you know, no, I just want to play guitar because it's the best thing in the world. You are lying right now, and you're going straight to hell. <laughs> Everyone learns how to play the guitar because they think it's going to get them laid. Everyone. And then there are, there were levels of cool, right? So you learn guitar, maybe a little bit of bass. Piano's cool, but it's not a practical instrument to get yourself laid. It's not like you can just whip out your piano at the beach. <laughs> oh wait, I know some Oasis. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work for you. What's up, Dolly Pudding? Thanks for that host. Welcome back. I'm sorry to break your romantic idea about why people learn musical instruments. I did not learn the guitar because I love guitar. I do love guitar, it was just a coincidence. <laughs> people learn to play the guitar because they think it's going to get them laid. Fact. Hashtag. Singing and vocals. Two. But not as much as the guitar, my dude. Yeah, it's impressive. When you pick. Right? When a guy can play a guitar. Now I can just imagine Nana. Imagine she's single. Sunset of the beach. She puts her arm around her bow. This guy. They just met. Eyes locked in the bar. Let's go down to the beach. <coughs> Nana asks him, What kind of music do you like? He says, Well, you know, I like a lot of music. He's a cultured guy. Nana's a cultured girl. Because. Check this out. She whips out a trumpet. <laughs> that were a guitar, Nana. Result. <laughs> I'm talking crap right now. That piece behind you was the first piece I saw you stream. Ah, the smiling dude. Yeah, yeah. That was a, that was ages ago, man. Man, you're a fucking multi multitasker artist. Hats off, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oasis was the first tune you learned to play on the guitar. I remember rightly. Yeah, it was. I learned the guitar by by buying an Oasis Oasis chord book and learning and, and learning Oasis songs, basically. Um, Hubby can play anything. Drives me insane. And yes, now he plays at church. Only fourth wife says so. Anyway, I hope he can play anything. Drives me insane. And yes, now he plays at church. Only fourth wife says so. I'm a play system of a down with your trumpet. <laughs> it wasn't. Wasn't there a string missing? Yeah, probably. <laughs> that was four years and eight months ago I painted that. Long time, man. I think the, if if like the music musical instrument people learn how to play because they just love music is piano in my opinion like flute trumpet that's those are musical instruments your parents want you to play right am I sweepingly jet are they like mad flute fans out there oh man I just heard this flute solo the other day I've got to go pick myself up a flute, haven't I? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> no one, no one. But parents are thinking, no one's going to want to shag him if he's playing a flute. <laughs> no, I love piano. 
No, yeah, piano is beautiful. Beautiful instrument. Ah. <laughs> I've got a feeling all those followers we gained today have just unfollowed. <laughs> I thought this guy was an artist. Not, it turns out he's an asshole. Um, only an instrument I ever fancied is a saxophone. That, what's the pulling potential with one of those? Dude, great. Dude, you just break out a little bit of Baker Street. Um, how does the Baker Street thing go? Dude, saxophone is a sexy instrument. Right, Ladybug? Yes. Saxophone is sexy. It's not a beach instrument. It's like no one's gathering around a campfire. <laughs> or maybe they are, dude. Maybe saxophone even has the guitar beat. You get a little bit of, mm. get a little bit of goosebumps thinking about that, putting that situation together. I've got to get back into playing saxophone. If you can play the sax, you can play the flute. Um, uh, dude, prob probably right. Is that really similar, Don? Right? I didn't, I didn't know that. Um, I choose the tr I chose the trumpet and misplaying it. <laughs> hey, no judging, Nana. You, you obviously, you chose wisely. <coughs> uh, I learned how to play a Highway to Hell on an Ibanez. Ibanez. Ugh, God, Ibanez. Ibanez. Electric guitar. I had for a while. Can't remember how to play it now. Learn it from a YouTube tutorial. Sorry, I have to go. See you next day. See you later, JC. You always been an asshole. <laughs> What's ET short for? He's only got little legs. Wah, wah, wah. Um, uh, should play that tune from Lost Boys on the sax. Oh, dude. I can't remember the song, but I know exactly the shirtless buff dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, sax is a sexy instrument. Okay, think about this, guys. Homework while I'm um, uh, while I take my uh, my break. What instrument is sexier than the sax? Is there one? Or is sax the pinnacle of sexy musical instruments? I think we might be at the sax. I think the sax... Is there... Like, if I have a son, dude's playing a sax right now. All right, guys, see you in five minutes. They're going away.